All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So, um, today is a very good day. We had V Jump go ahead and drop for us uh, with a lot of very tasty morsels inside of it, right? Uh, we are well aware that LRB Pan is going to EZA during this upcoming celebration. Um, presumably, I would say, uh, for Golden Week here. Um, we also have an Android Saga Patan battle showing up. I mean, we could see, uh, you know, uh, Trunks, uh, Yardrat, Goku, and then Android 17 right there. Um, there's, I don't know what the, the purpose of showing the, these Gokus are. I presume this is where it's talking about the, uh, the new legendary Goku event that is, uh, GT Goku themed, right? Um, there's the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Like, there's just a lot, right? Okay, so new... Legendary Goku event will be released for Goku Day. That does make sense, because um, <clears throat> the normal Legendary Goku event was released two years ago, right? Uh, Pan's Easy Day area is through. Is, is through. Um, <clears throat> Pan's Easy Day is through an extreme easy, extreme Easy Day area. An Easy Day area. <laughs> I, I, I'm stumbling today. All right, yeah, so Easy Day area for Pan. Not really surprising. She's a free-to-play unit. Uh, most free-to-play units do EZA through EZA areas, right? All the free-to-play LRs have thus far. Um, and a new set of Patan Battle also officially announced in V-Jump, right? Along with the Infinite Dragon History Stage, the Legendary Goku event for GT, V-Pan's EZA. So very clearly, uh, it looks as though we are going to be getting a Dragon Ball GT, you know, sort of next couple weeks. Now, so now we have a lot of theories as to like, you know, could Dragon Ball GT be Worldwide Download Celebration? Could it be New Year's? Could it be Seven Year Anniversary? We'll see, right? Just one GT Dokkan Fest doesn't really show that, I would say, as much. Um, but they certainly could be building up to something. Uh, you know, they, they did a really good job of dropping AGL Tapion's EZA, right? Which uh, buffed uh, Giant, Movie Hero, and Movie Bosses. And then now, you know, they could be doing a dual Dokkan Fest of Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Baby that would buff up uh, Giant again, right? So they're doing pretty good there. Now, the main purpose of this video here is I think that there is a lot of units that potentially could easy a during the next, I don't know, month. A lot of GT characters could easy a and that could be a lot of added firepower. Now immediately i do think the two-year anniversary super saiyan fours i think we could see both easy a during golden week i mean i know that would be a lot so already we're talking about the pan easy a area um we're talking about then two separate easy a events because they're not going to be just paired together they'll they'll each be a separate easy a event but dude that i think they could do it and i think they will um Dude, the, the Super Saiyan 4s could be insanity. I don't know what they could do. Like, so Goku, right? I think just giving him 150% attack and defense is good. You could leave this the same. 30% of countering is fine, right? Um, as far as this, I think bumping this up to 50% is probably good. Honestly, if they wanted to make him truly crazy, he would be almost like too OP. I, well, I don't know. I They should give him what... Um, the Bio Broly trios got, right? Give him 50% defense and attack for six turns on top of 150% attack and defense down here. And then he'd have 19,000 attack, 11,000 defense. He would be just like to call him obscene. I feel like would not uh, correctly gauge his strength level at that point. He would be so crazy. I mean, he's got Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, GT. It's going to be crazy on Kamehameha. going to be crazy on all of these teams with that Link set, right? And then they could do other things, too. Like, you know, Goku, you know, think about what he does, right? Like, he beats down Baby pretty badly. Baby is on 500 teams, right? Giant, Inhuman Deeds, Artificial Life Form. It's like maybe Goku get like guaranteed crits against like artificial life form or something like that. Like there's so a number of different things that they could do to make him really good, but literally just giving him 150% attack and defense like this does not need to go up and it's not, he already hits pretty hard even now. Right. Um, that's why I'd like maybe giving him attack right here. Um, and then defense right here and then he's already done, but they'll do more cause these easy have been just so crazy lately. 
Um, I mean, STR Janemba, they didn't really go super nuts for, but STR Janemba is not on this guy's level of hype, right? Like, I feel like they're okay with kind of leaving STR Janemba the way they did him. I don't imagine they would do a similar instance to Goku or Vegeta. Um, so for Vegeta, I imagine they bumped this up to 150% for both. Um, so he greatly lowers defense right there, which is worthless, but sure. You know, you could bump that up to massively. Um, and then give him something else. Raise defense on super attack. Maybe he stacks attack. Um, maybe he could give all allies an attack buff or something like that for a turn or two turns. There's a couple of different things they could do. Um... Man, if, if they did that, though, I, 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 I would probably personally feel like Goku shits on this Vegeta. I, one thing I had an idea with that I thought would be very helpful is if Vegeta was like a um, a support type. <laughs> I know. Everyone just, oh, yeah, here we go. Every, true things, every unit needs to be a support type unit. But, like, I feel like just, like, two key 20% attack and defense to all allies or something like that, like, similar to what, like, um, Golden Cooler does. I think it'd be very sick. It would make sense with kind of how Vegeta acts once he arrives on the battlefield uh, to fight Omega Shenron, so that would be pretty cool. Um, Vegeta has the same great link set that Goku does, Prepare for Battle Shocking Speed GT, so he's going to work really well on all of these different teams he's on. And Vegeta, you know, Goku is on a couple of teams where he could be helpful. Vegeta is on, uh, like, actually... Shadow Dragon Saga, Vegeta Family, Worthy Rival, Savior, Great 8 Power, Miraculous Awakening, Prodigal Warrior, all those need help. The only team Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is on that doesn't really need help is Pure Saiyan. Every other team actually really could use that extra power. So that is really, really good that this Vegeta is likely to get an EZA coming up because there's only four... 120% leaders who have not gotten easy A's, right? We have the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, we have Physical Final Form Cooler, and then we have the two GT Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, I personally think what we're probably leading towards is movies for uh, Worldwide Download Celebration, um, and then I think GT will be either New Year's, the main major New Year's, or Anniversary. Um, that's sort of how they're going to, like, you know, uh, position things and build it up. Um, so I, I do think we're probably going to see, I guess, all four of these guys EZA presumably uh, before uh, August. Um, but it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how powerful they're going to look. Um, on top of them, uh, I think it's we're probably going to see these two get an EZA as well. Um, if you guys are not familiar, right here. Um, this easy area here, let's just get rid of them. We've talked about them enough. So this easy area right here, right? They've just added a million stages to it, constantly easying units. Uh, the last time characters easy aid from this on JP, this was December. Uh, this Int Gohan and this AGL Kaioken Goku easy aid. All of these characters will easy aid from it. So this Super Saiyan 2 Goku and then Majub, I think it's perfect time for them to go ahead and get um, easy A's from this easy area. This will be good, because these two characters, these are not exactly good named characters. Super Saiyan 2, Goku, GT, and then Majub. Let's take a look at the teams Goku is going to help. Wow, not a, this Goku is not on a lot of teams, huh? Jeez, Pure Saiyan, Goku Family, Super Saiyan 2, and Turtle School. I mean, Super Saiyan 2 does need help. I, obviously, Turtle School would be good. I mean, they could give him at least 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. He has no super attack effect, dude. So, I don't know. Just give him, like, stacking, I think, would be really good. Um, I, I think he, he, he should stack attack and defense or something like that. You know, get another stacker for, like, the Super Saiyan 2 team or some of these other teams. Man, actually, looking at this guy, it's not really that important. Uh, only Super Saiyan 2. I mean, he would probably be on... um. The baby slash Black Star Dragon Ball Saga team? Probably. I don't know. I mean, because Goku does fight Super 17 in non-Super Saiyan 4 a lot. So, I, I think they very easily could sort of just, like, slide this Goku on, like, a Super 17 arc or something like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see his links. He does have Saiyan Lineage GT prepared for battle, so he's got a good link set. Yeah, this guy probably is not going to be the craziest. I mean, it, it still is good to have characters like this from 2016 
I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have got this guy, right? Uh, he's been around for a very, very long time, and if he actually gets an easy, at least he will be usable. Kind of like that EGL Kaioken Goku and the Int uh, Gohan. Uh, so Majub is a little bit different, right? Shadow Dragon Saga, Bottom Master Disciple, Earthling, Majin, Power, Savior, Connected Hope. We need him on every team. Now, all right. Do you guys know where I'm going to go with this? Give me one guess. That's right. Support. <laughs> Make him a support, dude. Look at his link set. Solid support. Master of Magic. Majin. Cold Judgment GT. Fuse Fighter. Shattering Limit. He, dude, he has Fuse Fighter, but he's not in the Fusion team. Right? Like, look at Master of Magic. Look at the characters on Master of Magic. Where is he going to be interacting with most of these characters, right? N nowhere is the answer. Um, some of the fat boos with on Majin Power. But for the most part, you're not even going to be able to activate that link on all these teams. I guess unless you link him up with the transforming oob. But like even then, like you still have to transform with oob to get it done, right? So I don't know. It's not very likely. Um, so I think... Uh, Maybe like 70% attack and defense at the start of turn. Just get rid of this. No restriction right here. Um, give a, 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 all allies three key 30% attack and defense. That makes Majub a killer on all of these teams. That would be so good. Maybe have him lower attack and lower defense. I feel like that's probably what they'll do. Um, maybe he could stack attack, raise defense for one turn, greatly raise defense for one turn, something like that. All right. Um, and then maybe he gets a dodge as well, uh, or damage reduction or something like that. Hard to say for sure. Um, Maju becoming good is like real interesting. What EZAs can be used for? None. He's not useful for either. Okay. Um, I, I this, this is more, way more exciting to me, um, than what's his name is. Um, Maju, again is so much more exciting to me as a potential EZ unit than that EGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Uh, just all these teams, right? Saviors, Connected Hope. Again, if he's a support, you're you're going to be able to get a lot of use out of this guy. And, like, if he's relatively tanky, he's going to be great for difficult content. So uh, I, it's going to be exciting to see this uh, Oob EZ. Um, we have Sin Shenron. I would say Sin Shenron is definitely going to happen just because the next sub EZA in line is Sin Shenron, right? Um, uh, uh, SCR Omega. Can I pull up? See, they order things in the order that things came out on global on the wiki. That's the only issue. So, like, if we go to EZAs, this is the order that they came out on global, basically. Um, yeah, because, see, like, Omega on JP came out before Vegito Blue. Like, if we're going in order of these global EZAs, then Tech Super Saiyan Trunks would actually be next. But on JP, Omega came out. Because, remember, we got the e the sub-EZAs for these guys. This was the AGL Blue Goku and the Tech Blue Goku. Got their sub-EZAs, what, in December now on JP. Right? Next one in line is Omega. The only unit that awakens from his medals besides him, I believe, is that Sin Shenron. Then after Omega would be the two base form Vegitos, right? Um, so that's probably what we're going to see. Oh, and then STR Zamasu. Oh, there's a lot of sub EZAs potentially coming. And then this, of course, is Tech Super Saiyan Trunks. Wait, wait, no, no, no. This is STR. Wait, wait. Who does merge Zamasu? Is there any... Is there a sub EZA for him? I, I can't remember. Do his medals awaken anyone else? No. Oh, Okay. There is going to be no sub EZA for Merd Zamasu. Yeah, his medals don't awaken anyone else. These are just LRs. Okay. Okay. Um, Interesting. Yeah, SCR Zamasu is from AGL Rose's medals. My bad. All right. But this guy is another unit that is actually needed, Um, you know, for the Shadow Dragon Saga team, Inhuman Deeds. Um, This guy as a partner for Omega Shenron is going to be crazy. Again, Omega Shenron is, you know, for when I was growing up, Omega Shenron was the strongest Dragon Ball villain, period, right? So, like, that, he was always, like, the bar to, like, you know, gauge, like, all the heroes by and stuff like that. So, uh, Omega having, like, a, a top unit in the game does make a lot of sense to me right up there. Um, this guy's only on two category teams, but both of them badly need the help. 
I think a Dokkan Fest baby release during Golden Week easily could be an Inhuman Deeds category leader. And then running, like, the two Omega, like, this guy, and then SCR Omega on rotation uh, on the Inhuman Deeds team definitely could work very well. SCR Omega Shenron is super powerful. And then this Easy Ace in Shenron could definitely be fairly good um, alongside SCR Omega as a rotation, right? I think that would work really well. Um, then, oh, uh... So, I don't know, maybe like 100% attack and defense. The, look at the way he is. He's built in Legends where he's just a wall. I would like that. Honestly, 100% attack and defense. And then 50% damage reduction. Make him AGL Tapion. And then make this massively lower his defense. And then, I don't know, raise attack, raise defense. Just give him something else on that. And he's probably good. His stats are really low. Oh, my God. His defense is so high. What the hell? His defense is insane. He's this is he's from 2016. Oh my god, his attack is so low. That's really bad. But this is like Dokkan Fest exclusive level, right? That's really good. Um Okay. Yeah, they give him a hundred percent attack and defense, and that boy is gonna be solid. Um Attack is not going to be that high. He's not going to be doing much damage. I mean, he does that, but he does have big bad bosses. Uh, I, this this is going to be good because again, Sin Shenron is like a completely dead character, right? Like this this is the only Sin Shenron in the game. Eventually, we're definitely going to get a transforming Sin Shenron, who's probably going to be one of the best units in the game. But for now, this guy's uh, sub easy will be very good. And then B Pan is getting a confirmed easy. Um, I, dude, this is awesome. You want to talk about great for, for like, free-to-play players and stuff like this. And there's all the different teams she's buffing. Like, Dragon Ball Seekers, we need it. Again, Baby slash Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. Youth, Space Traveling Warriors. You know, we know how great her active skill is. I believe B-Pan is the first active skill unit to get an easy A. Everyone goes, oh, truth, you moron. You forgot about second form Frieza. It's like, okay, but that doesn't count. Dude, second form Frieza released with his easy A. So it's like, like, that doesn't count. Like, this is a unit that came out two years ago. Now she's getting an easy A, so we don't know what's going to happen with her. Are they just going to leave it the same? Right? Dude, what if, what if for her, her active skill, they just turn that to two turns? That's it. That would be disgusting. Or, or, follow me here. What if she gave key? <laughs> That's my solution for everything. What if she gave support? <laughs> Key support. <laughs> um, but she's still so good, dude. I mean, she stuns 12 key, stuns an 18 key. She gets early super attack. She can do her 18 key super attack at 15. Um, she has damage reduction. She has healing. Um, she has like a solid links at all in the family, Saiyan lineage. Very good for difficult content. Works well alongside like ultimate Gohan and stuff like that. Like, you definitely can get, um, like, this B-Pan is going to be good. She's going to be super good. So, they released that event during, uh, the six-year anniversary, and it's like, oh, could B-Pan be easy a -ing? And it didn't happen right away, but it did actually happen a couple months later, so I really hope you guys grinded, um, that event that, that showed up during the six-year anniversary for B-Pan. Right? Because, like, now, look what happened. It, it did lead to her easing after all. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, GT, honestly, like, what is done for GT? Like, what is actually done? Literally nothing. So, like, in terms of Dokkan, right? Remember that anything released prior to AGL Metal Cooler can just be flat out replaced. Because the animation suck ass. The LR Super Saiyan 4s, they came out in January of 2019. I, such a good time. I, so exciting. Um, I remember I was really sick in January of 2019, but it was still, this was so exciting, right? Um, so the Super Saiyan 4s, their animations suck, pretty much. They were made alongside Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You could actually go check DBZ, uh, DBZ Space, um, and you can see like, the unit ID numbers, and you could see that the LR Super Saiyan 4s were made alongside, um, this guy, uh, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku in July of 2018, way before AGL Metal Cooler. So, like, good animations 
is basically only in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I get, well, I guess Goku, Chung, Senpan, and LR, like, LR Baby's animations are okay. Majub's animations are kind of fodder. Their, their animations actually are pretty good. Goku, Chung, Senpan. But, like, nothing from GT is properly rep. Omega doesn't have great animations. None of the Super Saiyan 4s have great animations. Super 17, like, they actually can replace every single unit that, that is GT related. I'm not, I'm not joking about that. Like, besides this unit right here, everything else can be hard replaced because their animations suck. Like, that's the thing about Dokkan moving forward. The game is built and carried off of its animations. The animations of every single character in GT all suck because they're all old as hell. Outside of this guy and then them. That's it. The rest of it all can be replaced. So, Dokkan really can just spam GT for quite a while, and it'll be really good. So, let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to get back into GT. Uh, it's got to be a mandate by Shueisha, because both Dokkan and Legends are just like, all right, we're spamming GT now. It's like, okay, sure. I don't have a problem with that. I like GT. I have no problem with this. Super Saiyan 4 is our mega hype. I actually do like all three villains. Super 17, Baby, and then um, uh, Omega. I'll tell you this, Dragon Ball GT is way better than Dragon Ball Super up until Goku Black shows up. The Universe 6 arc, I think, sucks. I, I Like, Hit is cool, but the arc sucks, right? Like, I think the Super 17 Saga is way better than the Universe 6 arc. I don't think, that's not even close to me. I Super 17 is way more thrilling than the bullshit that happened there. I, that, that, Dragon Ball Super is horrible up until and again that's not resurrection f and battle of gods those are like dragon ball z movies i don't really even count those as dragon ball super right so i don't know let me know what you guys think a lot of easy a's coming a lot of gt stuff incoming uh thanks guys for watching and i'll catch y'all next time